Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays RimWorld SCP. I'm uh, a little bit under the weather today, and we got this to deal with. So we're going to deal with it. I'm going to try to deal with living. It's uh, easier said than done, but I'm going to give it a shot. I think we'll be okay. Hey, we just keep everyone indoors and we should be just fine. What is that? A cat horse mare. Neat. I mean, I didn't see anything specific that I wanted to keep here. Maybe the snake, which is neat. Maybe just a very unfortunate snake. Reptile hybrids. The snake of Yig has six mouths and attacks incredibly fast. Seems neat. And look at that. They give Yig eggs. Not, not a lot of nutrition per year. So probably not worth that much. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll take out this group. And we'll probably just... Probably just chill today, you know? It's one of them days. You just need to... Hang back, chill out, make some cyanide. Build yourself a monument and have a good time. You know, once all the... Monstrosities are dealt with. I mean, I kind of want to... Grab a thrum wolf. Yeah, let's try to get that one. It's gonna bleed out soon. Sai, you can. Whoa! You can move around. Oh, it's rotted. I mean, they all rot. I should know that. We still might be able to get uh, get a thing from them. All right, everyone's allowed to move around now. Watch out! Not all of these animals are dead. Something to keep in mind. Nyberg. 30% chance. 58% chance. 30. It's weird. 40. I don't know what the driving stat is. 57. I assume it's medical. Or at least that medical is involved. You know? In some way, shape, or form. It has to be because the two that have the best chance are both medical people. Let's try to get this one. I would like to be able to copy a Thrum Wolf. I mean, Equine Paragon is also really cool. But I'd rather have this if we can get it. Worst case scenario, we can't. But we can. Let's go. Oh, baby, let's go. Someone haul this in urgently. Thank you, Vasilla, for doing that, yo. Okay. I don't know. Can you tell I'm feeling low-key today? I can tell I'm feeling low-key. That's because I'm the one that's feeling it. Did you put it down already? No, you you still got it. Okay, you can drop. You can stack them in here. Good. We apparently still have room for one more template to sit in there. As for over here, well, we're still growing a thrumfalo. It's going to take a long-ass time. And before we forget... I'm, I'm just gonna stay on this and make sure it gets. Uh, who named this lady bodacious? Silvermane. <laughs> oh, my man. Look at this bodacious Cthulhu babe. Alright. Well, you like what you like, you know? I guess now you can, you can have yourself a. The Cthulhu. That, it, why don't you follow Silvermane around while he's doing field work? Not while drafted, though. Because I'd rather you not get killed. I mean, I could drop you in the middle of an enemy raid and... Well, actually... I can't. Because I can't draft you specifically. I could draft Cthulhu 1. Have you jump into the middle of the raid. And then make some stuff happen. And that would probably be a good time. At least by some. 98. Come on now. Let's make it happen. I'm very excited to see it. We have 18 magnetic coils, which means we made an additional one at some point. 99. And here comes the one hundo. It is good to go now. I know, Nyberg, you want to make flour, and that makes complete sense, but also put the Thrumfalo's cell...
where it needs to go and do that at a... We don't need to put... that ah, whatever. But what, what, are you, what are you doing? What, what, where'd the cell... Did you put it in? Oh, you did. <laughs> Never mind. I'm okay. Seam of Plasteel. I haven't looked at the map yet, so here's your loading screen. It's pretty great. Uh, yeah, I got Plasteel up here. We got components down here. We just have to oof this, these people to get it. Some gold over in them there hills. And more Plasteel. There's hostile activity in this one. All right, that's good to know. I feel like we should go get some. I and mean, we have plenty of people to do this mining over here. Hmm. How long would it take to just shimmy on over? One day? Even at a shimmy's pace? All right. No, let's hit this one and then this one. And then, and then we would go back. 3.2 days. All right. We can do that. We can set someone out for 3.2 days, right? They're going to send Pepsi. Because you're the one doing most of the mining here. It's it's kind of your thing. Send? Hmm. I mean, if we send Silvermane, it's over for any enemies who cross us. But we could send someone else just to keep it interesting. I don't... Part of me wants to send Perrin. Part of me also wants to avoid sending Perrin. She has a great shield as well. But, uh... I don't know, man. Maybe we'll send Vasilla. Just to try sending someone different, you know? And then we send the animals. Rumpelow can hold 368 kilograms. And these horses are for riding. There you go. Oh, man. Take both, uh, both of our uffaloes here. All right, travel supplies. We are going to need... I'm going to select the supplies manually because we're not taking fine meals. What are you, nuts? Take, like... Uh, that's maybe too many. Take, like, 30 canned meals. That's more than enough to get us all the way there and back. Like, a dozen herbal meds. Yeah, uh, no glitter world, but take some regular meds. You know, just in case. Just in case. Yeah, plenty of kibble. We don't need to go nuts with the kibble because they should be able to eat you know, they should be able to graze. But this should be good. This should be good. You know, get in, get stuff, get out. 20 minute adventure. Some people's diets won't allow most of the food in your caravan. Everyone here will eat canned food. So I don't know what you're talking about. You want me to take some packaged survival meals too? Would that make you happy? Take some pemmican. Doesn't hurt to have pemmican. Just form the caravan. Get moving, ladies. Get out there. Get me some plastel. Bring it home. Have a good time. That's all I ask. Not too much, right? Probably. Legendary ass bear cat. Get it out of here. I mean, most of these are bleeding out. This thing isn't, surprisingly. I mean, it will probably bleed out eventually, but we probably want to pop it from a distance, because video games. Hey, Sai, si, come here. Do me, a, do me this favor. Do me this favor. Pick up your grenade and launch it here. Get naded, son. There you go. And then we'll just microwave it once for good measure. There you go. Okay, switch over to your... Actually, you don't need to switch guns. Actually, uh, yeah, you can keep your AP PB as your main. There you go. That'll just make it go out a little bit more quickly. Because it's going to give its own explosion here in a bit. I assume they... Yeah. Creating puddles of chem fuel infused urine around it. Fun! What a fun creature that is. What a great concept. The Magnificent Peeing Buffalo. Who would have thought of this? Hey, this should be a good amount of Plasteel for a while, but we'll, we'll actually determine that once we see a chunk of it, you know? If it is a ton, if it's plenty, we'll switch gears and start looking for other things. Sure, give me a missile turret. Learn how to make those. And pulse charge munitions. 
Charge complexes, charge turrets. All seem good. Yes, give me more, give me more shoot juice. Okay. Scylla and Pepsi are off to go. They'll be there soon, wouldn't you know? This OC defense pistol needs a charge. It should automatically forbid it. Like it did this, but I don't know if it does. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know anymore. Either way, it's in its best spot for now. Yeah, it does. Okay, once it starts the healing process, it automatically forbids it. Nice and convenient, don't you know? Okay, well, we got a little bit of cyanite. We got a little bit of room here. We still got 16 days. It looks like that's going to be plenty. We still might need to, you know, specify getting people on here, getting people doing this work. But we'll see. We'll see. Feel okay about it so far. Look at this weird roof area we got going on here. I get it. Because I did it. But it's weird. Yeah, go ahead and change that up a bit. Make that a little bit better for us. Okay. And don't forget we have all this garbage down here, too. If we ever need to work on our relationship, we can just send someone a bunch of garbage. Like Neatland. <laughs> what a great name. <laughs> Welcome to Neatland. Home of the Neat Burger. Okay. All right. How we doing over here, eggs? Look like we're doing okay. We got some food. Everyone's got food. Everyone's just hoping that. What do you make with that insect meat? Kibble. You know what? That makes sense. What else could I ask for? Literally nothing. Oh, so I doesn't have inspired mining anymore. Oh no. My whoa, poor soul. Why are these in here? Oh, well, he's neutralized. That's why. Defense of fortune. Let's see what that's about. But first, hmm. Hexagons? I do like a good hexagon. You know, we have different shapes going on. And now we have the square. I mean, mostly a square. The circle. And the hexagon. Give me the hexagon. Give me my... There you go. Cool. What is... Boas Roas. <laughs> it's a great name. Uh, two groups of pirates from the Vampire Raiders have been harassing them. They want us to take them out. We do still have Silvermane. Power Leap. We already have Power Leap for the one person who needs it. So this really isn't worth that much. Let's have security for a yeoman. A bunch of raids from the eagles. Psychic readers. I don't know. Those, those rewards just don't seem to be up my alley, you know? My alley is requesting different things than what they are willing to provide. I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. How you doing, Bodacious? Uh, love that. Love that a bit. You know, we should probably, like... Like, pack dirt is fine. But I don't like it. I feel like I should do something else on the ground here. Just gravel underneath? It's a whole bunch of... Oh, you can't do schist gravel. Okay, then. Be like that. You jerk! wanted to do some nice schist gravel. Instead, I'll have to, like, broken asphalt or something. I mean, that's all minus one dirt anyway. So, broken asphalt actually wouldn't be any different, quality-wise. It'd look kind of ugly. But, I mean, does that really matter? Does it need to look pretty? It's just flooring. I can also do the regular asphalt, technically, as well. Or, you know, I can do the concrete. Which, does that have a minus one as well? Yeah, it's the same, too. Yeah, we'll just do the concrete. There you go. Do up that area. It's not busy work. It's just work that keeps you busy. Oop, went too far there. Soiled it. I do that sometimes. Don't quote me. All right. This should be good. This should be okay. This should be acceptable. Just moving things around a bit. As you do. As you do. We got one Stell up. That feels good. Alright. Basilla's not here, so this is going to get done a little bit more slowly. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cola, you, you're, you don't have to be named after a drink anymore. 
So there you go. Now you name that third dude. Uh, I'm just gonna call you D, but D to Yon. Welcome to this. But yeah, you know, like I said, I'm probably just gonna call you D. You know, because I can. Like I said, I'm really low key today. I can feel like the lack of energy. I I feel like I want to have the energy, but I can't get it out. It's trapped inside by sick. But it's fine. You know, Patronus is going to make me a nice uh, kibble. And then get a nice feeding trough. I'll be fine. Hopefully. Who left this rice here? Who did this? Why would you do this? Uh, th there you go. Nightbird. You're doing stuff with it, huh? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now you're making cheese. I mean, I do like cheese. After all, I am human. And then with that cheese, we can make sandwiches. We can make burgers. We can gain Psylink levels. Tell you, cheese can do anything. Uh, we're at the Plasteel area. All right, Perrin, what you got? Where were we going down? Harmonist? I don't remember. No, we weren't going down Harmonist. Luck transfer. Psychic flight. Hmm. Moved across the world in a range of eight tiles. <laughs> okay. That's handy. But. Ice shield. Hmm. Reading them from experiencing cold and. Eh, that's. That's all well and good and good and well. Focus. Boosting sight, hearing, and movement. Skip shield. Okay, let's do a skip shield. Let's get you the better. Better skipping. You know? So this one, yeah, this one goes in an area. So this is literally a shield. Yeah! That's good stuff. Damn, that takes up a lot of heat. I mean, it makes sense. Oh, I... I sorry, I had us go. And we probably should have waited. Uh, okay, move over to the Plasteel site. That is some Plasteel. All right, all right. What else we got here? Some niece? Some nice niece? Very, very nice. Very niece. Even. We're just walking over there for now to see if there's an ambush. Because if there is, obviously we'll want to take that out first. Okay, anything over here? Pepsi, you get to mining. I know you want to eat, but mine this out and we're done. I can then put in the order to go, and then you can eat all you want on the road. Alright, and there's nothing else here, it looks like. It's just the plastel. And then some garbage. What is this? Ancient mechanoid shell. I don't think I've seen one that looks like that before. Is that a fire hydrant? That is a fire hydrant. Sweet. Oh, you're gonna help? I mean, you do have a mining skill of six. It's not ideal. Not as good as Pepsi is, but, you know, it is what it is. You got 50 from that one area. Golly. It also takes freaking forever. Hmm. Maybe I should have brought Psy and his explosions. Hmm. Don't worry about your modular flacker, but we should get you a melee weapon. At some point. But I mean, 50 per do. That's not bad. I mean, Vasilla's obviously going to get less from this one. But she'll knock out the rest of them. Pepsi will, that is. Hopefully they can get all of these done by the night. Well, I mean, not by the night. It's like nighttime already. It's 8 p.m. Apparently. But hopefully they can get it done by midnight or before they get a break. And we can just go. She's now knocked out four of these in the time that Vasilla has taken to get halfway done with one. This... This is the power of mining instinct, apparently. Um, I forgot that Vasilla was missing an arm. And a clavicle, apparently. What the hell happened to your clavicle? Uh... Yeah, whoops. She needs a left arm. Well, you already got a bionic right arm, right? Oh, no. Why... 
You got a bionic leg. Well, what the heck? Let's make her an arm. That makes things a little tougher, doesn't it? Whoopsies. Show me the arms. Uh, we're going to have to start with a simple prosthetic, of course. And then we upgrade it to bionic. And then we're going to have to do, I believe, a hand. Right? So if we wanted to make the, the power arm, we need to make a bionic arm and a power claw. Okay? To make the power claw... We need a simple hand. So make that, make this, make this, and then upgrade it. And then we'll give her the best arm that ever did arm. She'll be armed with the best arms. Or at least one of them. That would explain why it's taking so long. Oh my gosh, Pepsi's going to be done by the time Scylla's done with this one. It's a good chunk of Plasteel, though. So I'm definitely not complaining from that front. I mean, you're doing your best. I'll give you that. 100%. And... Four more to go. Or five more to go. I can count. I swear, I've done it before. Where are you going? Wait, we almost done! I mean, maybe we'll get the 50 out of it still if Pepsi works on it, but still. We're practically done. There you go. Yeah. Nah, we only got 36. Okay, whatever. 486 Plasteel. That's still an increase of, like, one-third or so. Pretty good chunk. There's actually still 200 in here to get. That's going to be 600. Assuming that Pepsi can get it all. Oh, she's almost starving. Okay. You know what? Let's leave this other 50 for someone else. Uh, don't starve. Just go to the next one. Point three days. Obviously, grab as much of the plasteel as we can carry. We can carry it all pretty easily, actually. Yeah, that's that's it. Go. Okay. Going to the next one. Right now, you're sleeping. Understandable. And presumably, you ate. You did. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Maybe even good. Who knows? Fine and good and good and fine, even. Maybe. 53% towards our other Thrumfalo. Should be great. Once, you know, the other one's here. We'll have two. That's the ideal, you know. You need two of them to tango. Look at the food requirement on this thing. Holy cow. Okay, the simple arm's done. Things are happening over here. Gioko got it. And thankfully, these don't have quality, so... You can make as many of it as you want. It's going to take a good amount of plasteel. It's going to take a lot of advanced components, too. We have 13 of them. What I'll probably do is just avoid as much as I can uh, using any advanced components for anything else for the moment. So now we can make a missile turret. Or a rocket turret. Excuse me. Take six high explosive shells to rearm. Six shots before it has to rearm. Does 50 damage. Oh, boy. Not fire at close-up targets. May explode when damaged. And there's the range for it. It's interesting. I would say that much. If I put it up here, it'll defend this area pretty well. Probably. No, it, it's it's kind of tempting. You know what else is tempting? Making more of these. Like, what if I did this, and then put another gate right here. Uh, well, if I did that... Actually, no, I can put all of these above. Just simply do that. Yeah. Move this over here. And then this one would go into the next in-between area here. And then this one would move over here. And then we could do the same thing on the other side. What is the size of this? 10? 11? Oh, well... Congratulations, the next one's going to be 10 as well, because I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm not messing with success. And... There you go. Put that there. Put this here. Make sure the conduits are going all the way around. As soon as I'm allowed to select the conduits. Or do the conduit thing. Sometimes it just doesn't want to be touched. And I get it, but it's a little annoying. 
We're gonna make a bigger SCP zone, if you couldn't tell. That way we can have more. Make them a little bit more comfortable. You can tell the difference between the concrete and the asphalt. In fact, you can very much tell the difference, and I don't think I like it. Why is the ground a different color under the solar generators? Is it supposed to simulate the shadow? I, I don't... I don't understand. Oh, that was good timing. We're here. There's more plastic. Let's go. Okay. Pepsi, I'm gonna go ahead and just undraft you right away and tell you to start mining immediately. Vasily, you head up there as well. Of course, your goal is to make sure there's no ambushes. A couple of ostriches, but I don't think they're gonna attack. I could be wrong. Some andesite down here. That's pretty great. Some quartzite down here. There it is. All right. What do we got? Alan. How dare you, Alan? All right, Alan's dead. <laughs> Dang, eagles. Should have known. Surprised it was only one dude. But all right. Hey, Vasily, you're good to go at this point. Now we've had the ambush. We know we're good to go. Right? And when she gets back, she's going to have a great reward as well. She'll have a whole ass uh, new arm to get. It's going to be great. You'll love it. I'll love it. I don't know if anyone else will like it. We're not doing this for them. We're doing this for us. That's really all there is to it. But this will stay for the domestic animals. You know, I, domestic enough with this dude. Um, and up here will be for... SCPs, things like that. Now, the only issue with that... Potentially... Is that our D-Class can't go up there. But maybe that's a good thing. Probably not, but maybe it is. Uh, what? People have relationships are arriving. Oh, hi. Hi, Kanga's brother. How you doing? Velasquez. Hey, Dawn, how's your belief in that Prime Legion going on? Pulse charge defenses. Yeah, yeah, more turret types. Just getting, uh, getting stuff out of the way. Oh, that gun get fully repaired? Sweet. I mean, assuming that's what happened. Thank you, Sai, for getting this done. It is weird how it's a different color now. Now that I see it. I, I probably should have just done the tiles instead probably would have made more sense but it's too late and I'm not backing down <laughs> I've already done it I can't undo it I, mean, I can't but I won't subtle difference but a difference nonetheless how's this going once again about half of them done she's getting tired but it's only five o'clock so you got time it's only six o'clock you got time Okay. Joko's working on getting the the claw done now. Once the power claw is done, the power arm is next, and then once the power arm is done, well, that's when it gets to the ultimate, the advanced power. You eat your cheeseburger when you're done with this. Okay. Three, two, one, and there you go. Now you can go eat your cheeseburger. All right, you can leave it on the floor for now. It's we know where it goes. It's fine. I feel like there's still a lot of clothing in here, on the floor. Well, most of it is garbage. Very, very injured clothing, if such a term makes sense. Okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm looking. I'm hoping you can get these done before this hits zero. Actually, before rest hits zero, because if that happens, you're going to be knocked out. Ravenously hungry. Tired. I get it. I get it. I do. Oh, boy. So if this hits 2.5, we're just going to leave the last one. If it doesn't, then she's good to actually get them all done. Oh, set four. Hmm. It's still good. Let's go. 
Oh, baby. 650 plasteel. On top of what we already have. Phenomenal. And she held it together the whole time. Bring it on home. Half a day. 1,100 plasteel. That was way faster than mining it. I got to admit. All right. Come on home when you can. Go ahead and rest up, of course, but still. That was great. Phenomenal, even. Genuinely, possibly beautiful. Good times are had by some. How you doing, Perrin? Nice apple tree you got there. It's looking good, looking good. D working on the power arm. D, how's your uh, crafting? Oh, it's actually a nine. It's pretty good. So, more power to you then. You need a melee weapon, dude, not this bow. Who cares about this bow? Man, you don't need bows. You need melee. You have melee skill, therefore, you need the slapper to go with it. I, I want to look in here. I want to look in here. I want to look in here. <laughs> Please. We don't have any ready to go. Okay. Well, tell you what, let's do two things. One, I can give him an OC defense pistol as a secondary, but then we have to make him a weapon, apparently. And we do have a good amount of titanium, so I'm thinking we just make him a nice long sword. Who the best? Cecil the best. Cecil, make me a nice titanium long sword so that we can give it to the Eon and we can make some stuff happen. We're also going to need to get him a shield belt, of course, but, you know, that's just over time. We got nothing in here. That's weird, right? Like we have no good clothing? Apparently Squid's Kin is here. The Bruin Union. They have things to trade. It's usually just ammo. It's just ammo. <laughs> Every time. But yes, we're going to want to make another belt. At least a ranged belt. Hmm. All of this is a huge investment in advanced components that I'm not ready to make right now. If I looked at the EM Marksman Rifle, that's not a lot of damage. Good range, not a lot of damage. And it shoots pretty fast, too, it looks like. Alright, alright. I'm just gonna type in shield. Oh. Maybe I need to do it over here. That's how, not how you spell shield. That. There you go, range shield belt. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't require any advanced components, so easy enough to put the order down. We need to get some LTEX from somewhere. And basically, the only place you can get it is from the Empire, unless you're making the Empire mad. So yeah, we just doubled our plasteel supply. Maybe we look at... I don't know, if we look at regular steel, we could mine that out very easily. Gold, actually, actually, I think is pretty easy to mine out as well. And, of course, uranium for power when things get to that point. There you go. It's almost done. Nice. Very quick work there. 13 days for this. That's fine. It happens. It happens over time. It'll take some time, but that's okay. What are you doing so important? Gathering rice? To haul the inventory. Okay, and then you're making the power arm. That's what's important. How about you? Cecily, playing darts. I get it, man. I get it. Sometimes you want to throw a thing at a thing. Range shield belt. Is th that was fast. That was really fast. Thanks, Chioko. Why is it going up here? I don't know, but there it is, I guess. It's good quality, so I'm not sure why it went up there. Whatever. D, when you get the chance, go ahead and equip this belt. Mm-hmm. He's almost done with the power arm. But then he's gonna go equip the belt. I mean, that is what I asked you to do, so I guess good on you there. Okay, and then equip the OC defense pistol as a sidearm. Cool. 
And then when your gun or your sword is done, we'll have you equip that too. Sessa, what's the story over here? You still okay? Now you're working on the long sword. Story was you're gonna wait till I was looking at you to start doing your job. All right, I get it. I get it. I do. Understandable. You know. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Pepper over here doing work. Getting stuff put up. It's pretty great. How are we doing on the cyanite mining? RC's working on it. Good stuff. How are we doing on this? This is almost halfway done. I mean, I, I think it's over halfway done. I think it started with like 12,000 work. But it's getting there. Shasta's making the best art. There we go. The gal's back in town. Hey, how we all doing? And your power arm's done, too. What great timing. Like how she has to turn around every once in a while to make sure these animals are following. Creature's been... Oh. Uh. Oh, there it is. Thrumfalo, too. We got him. He's here. Recently hatched. This is mean. This just means they were recently hatched. I guess it's just something to keep in mind. We still have an angry insectoid out here. Probably have someone deal with that. Someone hunt this. Silvermane, are you doing the haul? Yeah, you are. You're doing the, uh, the grabbing over here. So now we might be able to get more muffalo. Did you take it out in one shot? Damn. That was Silvermane, of course. Well, now it makes sense. I don't need this plasteel, and I don't want psychic readers. I mean, it's nice for these. I'd like one, maybe. But I definitely don't need four of them. Dude, look at all this unfinished work in here. Like, what what's going on over here? Finish your crap. I mean, I guess you feel like you don't have to because because of this, but still. Surely I'm not the only one bothered by that. Oh yeah, that's getting done at a good rate. And Fran is upgrading the power arm. When that's done, Vasilla can finally get her upgrade and be back to near 100% strength. I mean, she's still at 75%. Thanks to the exoskeleton suit. But still, we could be at 100%, you know? Fran, why did you switch gears? No, to get this done. This is way more important than some stinky components. We can make components anytime. See, KO's already working on them now. See how that works out, Fran? Everyone doing the job. At slightly different rates, but that's okay. Just get this done before the end of the day so I can put in the the surgery order, okay? That's all I ask. I don't think it's that big of an ask. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. As soon as she puts it down, I can put in the order. There it is. And... Oh, we have regular arms too, apparently. Uh, but no, we want the advanced power arm on the left. Using the best medicine? Of course we are. Alright. Apparently Vasil is going to be our resident cyborg around here. For the most part. Just going to your regular bed, huh? Do we? I mean, it is a legendary bed, to be fair. Surgery success chance is 130%. Now, now they're doing something else. It's actually better in there than it is in here. Well, the light's part of that, I believe. All right, good stuff, good stuff. You decided to get a backpack as well, D? I don't blame you. You know, he's mildly armed now. It's pretty great. Remind me, what's the middle one for? Switch weapons according to skill or passion? Yeah. Would probably want that. A preference for melee weapons makes sense. All right, so... Perrin's got 13 in medical. She's still, I think, the best far and away. 
We do have other people who could do medical. I mean, Chiyoko could become very good at it. It's just getting her to freaking read up on it. That's the hard part. Conversion. Silvermane has converted Kanga to SCP belief system. It's pretty great. All right, so now we have two Thrumpelos. And they are male and female. And in theory, we might be able to get more. And that would be amazing if it happens. Do you like drop all the stuff that you had? Like, why are you still carrying this stuff? Come on, it needs to go into places. Uranium, uranium slug turrets are now buildable. They're not that big a deal. They're not that great. They're just turrets, you know? But yeah, get, get all that stuff hauled away. Thank you, Yerba Mate, for your help. No, oh, yeah, that's why the canned food could just go right in here. Isn't that great? What's the story over here? How many days we got left? 13? Oof. Okay. Cecil's working on this. Actually, his medical's not that bad. And he did not goof it, so we're good. Alright. Vasilla's left side is all bionic up now. Uh-oh, storyteller changed. Uh, Hildegard Heroic is now in charge. More big threats, so everyone hold on to your butts. Gonna have some big ones coming. If she has anything to do with it. I'm assuming that's, yeah, scared up there researching. This dude loves doing research, let me tell you. He will spend all century up here, if he can. Look how they meditate back to back. You know, facing away from temptation and toward the object of their meditation. It makes sense. This is probably not where blueberries should go, but I assume that means we just have a bunch of blueberries. Definitely not a complaint, more of an observation. Really curious to see if we can get some more. Th yes, we can! All right. Well, that's happening. It's awesome, needless to say. I wonder how that one will come out. And then we have this one that we're cloning, too. So now we get to compare one with a mechanoid chip, one with a male, uh, not fertility, gender selector, one that was cloned, and then one that was naturally born. What a day. What's the uh, gestation cycle for these things? Third, two months. Yeah, two months. Uh, half a year. That makes sense. Honestly, it's, it's a big animal, so I get it. You know? Hey, this art changed. Maybe this changes every once in a while. Now it's Patronus moving to protect an ally while sweating with exertion. Okay, buddy. I hear you. It's all good and fine. And maybe fine and good. What's up, Audacious? How's life? Hopefully very well. Very good. So now the question is, do I move Egg Boy up here? I'm tempted to. But I don't think it, hurt. it would hurt to move him up there. I could give our... If I did that, I could clear all this stuff out of here and actually, you know, use this room for something else. Or this area, I should say. And that is extremely tempting. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I have to do that at some point. Or maybe just that I want to do that at some point. And the point is not not the point, but the timing is now. Yo, D, do you do training? I don't think I've actually messed with your priority. Where, where are you? There you are. He does do training at a two. Okay. That makes sense. Plant work is probably more paramount. All things considered. There's a lot that needs to be done over here. Basically all the time. So I get it. I do. Alright. Now we're doing Thumbo. We're still working on it. We're still working on you. Someday. Someday. And... Well... I mean, we have most coverage here. In most of this area. And these cover the ones on the sides actually perfectly, so that's awesome. 
Yeah, I can dig that. I can dig that a bit. Alrighty. Well, I hate to be a disappointment, but I think I'm gonna have to end this one a little early. Again, I'm a little, I'm a little ugh, right now. So that is gonna be it for this episode of that please Rimworld SCP. If you enjoyed it, sure you know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more because it'll coming. It won't stop coming until it does stop coming, and then it'll stop coming. Hey. We mined some Plasteel, and we doubled our Plasteel amount. Plus, Vasilla now has a bionic arm. So I think things went pretty darn well. Thanks again for watching this episode of Brimworld SCP. My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody-os. Yo.